Now you got a beautiful Arizona ash here. Tell me what's going on here. What's the problem? The problem is it needs to be pruned. And I wasn't sure exactly how severely I prune, where I prune, but what I need to do so it will continue growing and, and uh, be a nice tree out here in the backyard. So we're going to do some drastic pruning. Are you okay with it? I am okay with it. All right, <laughs> Believe go me, for it, Believe me, the Jeff. tree is going to be beautiful, but, and you may want to step, step out of the way. I will do that. I'll let you do let your thing. Get this branch off here. I'm not going to worry about how I cut it because this whole thing's coming off. So we're going to take that off. And then I'm going to use the folding saw since it's nice and sharp and we got some pretty big limbs. So we're going to make this first cut on this big branch here because we need to raise this canopy up. So we're not going to cut next to the tree too hard here because that would cut into the wood of the tree. And uh, we need to keep this collar. That's where all the meristematic tissue is that will heal this over. So first off, we're going to kind of make an undercut here. And it's a little difficult. Arizona ashes have really tight branches in here and they can have some narrow crotch angles. But we want to make a little bit of a cut under here so when this limb starts to come off that we don't strip the bark down here on the trunk itself. So this is going to take a bit of work. This is a pretty good sized branch. Okay, I think we're right at the right angle. And we start cutting. And you want to make sure you got a nice clean cut. Kind of support this. So now we got a pretty good, nice smooth cut. We've left that collar so it'll heal. We're not out too far and we're not in too close. So what we have to do is we're going to remove all of these branches up to about this point up here. Move it down carefully. Turn these off. This looks like a weak branch. Okay, and it's always good to take branches that are going straight down off. It just looks better and they're not poking you in the head. Branches that aren't serving any purposes. These two branches are right next to each other. I'm going to take that one off and that one off just because they're right exactly next to each other. I think what we need to do is we definitely need to take this one out. And the reason for that is because it's, it's really crossing over this one and it's in between here and it's interfering with the central one. There we go. You know, look for any of these branches, little twigs in the center kind of growing into each other. Uh -huh. I know we've made some big cuts and, and you can seal them. You know, if it bothers you, there's a big controversy. You can paint these if you like, but you don't have to. But uh, the bigger the cut, I just personally think it's better to kind of seal them over to keep the insects out, keep uh, borers out, and keep uh, rot fungus out. And what we'll do is put this on. And what I suggest is after you put this on is to paint the tree white. Just paint right over top of it? Right over top. Let it dry, of course. Okay. And what we're going to do is just... I'm going to back up just a little bit, Jeff, so I don't get treated too. You know, like I said, some people don't believe in doing this. They say the tar could be damaging to the tree. Um, I have not found it to be really damaging. I like it now. I do too. I was really concerned because it looked so messed it. up yes. with all these branches and it was so low and now, now you can walk under it. Once it you see what the tree nice, looks like, it's nice look to be it. a very pretty tree. There you go.